Hey guys, Mark again from 42 Freeway, doing a tour this week, uh, a spring break tour of Rowan Boulevard. Um, it was through here a couple years ago. There wasn't a lot going on, but maybe it was Chicky and Pete's or, or just the, the excitement of the street, but there's a, a lot of reasons to come down here. We're at a really cool, unique place called Cookie Munchers, and I'm going to talk to Cassie, who's one of the owners of the place, and uh, watch along because all week long we'll be doing stories from Rowan Boulevard. So we originally graduated from Rowan a year and a half ago in May 2016. And uh, it was me and my boyfriend at the time. We were living in our car. We were completely broke. We had a lot of student loans. And we decided that we wanted to start something awesome and really take a leap of faith after college. Uh, so we called every business in the area asking if we could use their kitchen in their off hours at night. And after like 100 calls, we finally ran across Ryan from Rise Bagels. And he was really receptive to the, the giving us a chance. And he said, yep, we get out around 7 p.m. every night. If you come in and want to use the kitchen, it's all yours from 7 p.m. until 3.30 a.m. when we get back. Um, so that's what we made our hours. We made them 7 p.m. till 3 a.m. We did only delivery. We only had a website. Uh, we couldn't really set up a phone in someone else's business. So... Uh, that's really all we had to, to go off of. So we started a behind the scenes YouTube blog to really get the word out that we existed because there was no signage. Uh, you kind of had to hear about us through word of mouth. And it blew up. It got really big, really fast. Um, the first night we operated out of there, uh, we, it was just me and Brandon. We didn't think it was going to be a big deal. We're like, we don't need employees. Like we only passed out a few flyers, um, but word got out and within just a few hours, we were having like 30 orders in queue with just two people. <laughs> so Brandon's trying to run out in and out of the store trying to deliver all these orders. And he's like, yep, I'll take these five. I'll be back for the next 10. Like, um, and I'm just like baking cookies as fast as I can. Um, first night was insane. Uh, people got their hours up to three, uh, their cookies up to three hours late. Um, and we were like, yeah, we're really sorry. Like people were falling asleep. Uh, so the next night we, uh, we had people who, when we went to deliver them the cookies, they were like, do you need help by any chance? We're like, uh, yeah, we do need help. So the next night we had a bunch of volunteers from Rowan come out and they helped us deliver all the cookies. Um, and we give out sorry boxes to everyone who got their cookies the night before really late. We gave out two free cookies. Uh, I texted them all individually um, to redeem ourselves. And that was the big start of it. Uh, blew up over nine month period and in that nine months, we were able to save up enough for our first storefront location. So we're pretty excited about it. <laughs> um, we've been definitely bootstrapping it from the beginning. Uh, we didn't want to take on investors or anything like that. So we decided to um, just as we could buy one more thing, we'd buy one more thing. Um, like this. <laughs> like that fridge that just <laughs> came in. Uh, that was our latest uh, purchase, but the signage outside as we can afford one more thing we buy one more thing um but it's been really cool to kind of see it all come together it's definitely not finished yet uh by any means but uh it's definitely coming along and we're really excited about the opportunity to really make this this a big business on Rome boulevard how long have you been in the store uh we started mid-november um, so only like, what, like three and a half months now. Uh, we had our grand opening. It was absolutely insane. We had a line on the block to the hotel. Um, the line didn't stop for like five hours straight. How did I not hear about this? <laughs> oh, it was absolutely <laughs> incredible. We had some really cool drone shots of just the, the line down the road. Um, the line started like over an hour before we opened, uh, <laughs> which was really, really cool. <laughs> the other business people said you guys are very popular in the, for the late night uh, runs. How late are you open? We're open until 3.30 in the morning, um, delivering as well. Uh, so definitely very popular. We're definitely the only dessert place that late as well. Um, we deliver warm cookies to your door. We have like a warm bag and we have uh, uh, cold milk and we deliver them together to you know make people happy. 